Up above is the <laughs> black tar lichen. Up above that is the granite. Uh, then we get to the tree line, like, which uh, kind of almost, it's not really moss, but it's, by it, the salt water tides that do come up. It goes in the rocks. Oh, look at that. rock wall that we're approaching right now, all covered in moss, is an area known as a rookery, which is a place where birds uh, roost communally. They raise their young here and stay in protected areas to do so. We have several different varieties of birds that make this place their They're a little black bird with white spots on their wings. And one of their most distinguishing characteristics is their bright red feet. They're an alpha, they're a relative of the puffin. the roots here do provide a lot of natural nourishment uh, for this cliff base here. It provides food for the mosses and lichens and ferns and trees and everything else that grows here. Ooh, look at all that moss. It's cool. Oh, the trees. I think it would be hard there. for a bird to root <laughs> yeah. in a precarious place. Make their, there. Lay their eggs and raise their young. But, um, I know. The birds right? that do lay their eggs here, they're, the eggs are actually not rounded like most birds' eggs. So they do have a flat side on one side, so instead of rolling off the cliff faces if they were to get boxed on. They spin around and stay put. Right now is known as an estuary, a place where fresh, fresh and salt water meet. For any of you folks some enjoying snow. seafood, uh, most all marine life spends snow on the some part of its life in an estuary. It's a very important place for our marine ecosystems. 